We've determined what clothing we need to have to be comfortable in the field, but we have yet to discuss camo and the different patterns that are available. Just from the options that we have here, you can see there's a lot of different styles of camo patterns available on the market. Which are the best? Truthfully, that should be of low importance to any new hunter. We want our primary focus to be on what is most comfortable and fits you in the field. Deer and elk are for the most part red-green colorblind, so trying to make sure you break up your image is important when you're walking through the woods, but deer and elk focus more in on movement and smell and then sound before their eyesight. So is camo important? Absolutely. However, it should be a lower priority than the other three. So select the camo pattern, not based upon whether it looks the best in the field. It's just a design to help break up your image, but get it based upon does it fit you well and are you comfortable in the field? With that in mind, a good option for hunters to consider is blaze orange. Here in Oregon, hunters age 17 and under are required to wear blaze orange on their body. However, it's also a great idea for all hunters. There are camo pattern options available with blaze orange built in, and the camo pattern will still help break up your image while giving you the color of that blaze orange to prevent any mishaps with other hunters out in the field. So even though we might think that we need all of these different camo patterns to keep us invisible to the deer and elk, remember they are red green colorblind so being able to use blaze orange with a nice breakup pattern will be sufficient.